Hey guys, welcome to another Indie Sense done by me, Dead English, and today we're going to be playing Rios, Raus, Rios, this game. Um, so I've never played this game. Uh, I pl I played like five minutes of it. Um, when I first got it, but I was like, this is hard, I don't, I don't know what to do, um, but it's an indie game on the Humble Bundle right now, so I figure I'll, uh, give it another go, cause I'm trying to do this new indie show, and it's in the Humble Bundle, so a lot of people might be able to get their hands on it, so, here we go, let's, uh, Let's do a new game. A game mode definitely beginner. What the hell is this? In the beginning there is only an empty planet. Please play first the beginning. I okay. Okay. I uh, I gotta let's see. Planet, you must awaken from your slumber. Your surface is dead and only you have the force to bring life. This is this is sounding a lot more dystopian than the images made it out to be. Uh, so yeah, so what I gathered from uh, just watching a few of the little gameplay videos that I did, I guess you play as these giant elemental gods, and each god controls like obviously a different element, but each element is is a different factor for life to be sustainable on this planet. Introduction. You have awakened from your slumber. You find your surface dry and barren it is lifeless. I... okay. Let's see. I click next. Come on. What do I do? Do I press enter? Space? Zoom in and out using mouse wheel or up and down arrow keys. You can always press the question mark for extra info. <coughs> I don't have a mouse wheel. Oh god, I don't want Use the left mouse button to click and drag the planet. You can also use arrow keys to move left and right. Oh, just let me do stuff. Use what little strength you have. Uh, wait. Use what little strength you have. You create the ocean giant and the rock giant. The instruments of your will. Okay. Let's, uh... I wonder which one we start at. So I'm able to drag the planet on. No, I don't! Oh, okay. It's still in the opening thing. Jesus. Okay, so... Ooh! Wicka, 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 what? Okay. Um... I want him. Your goal is to have life f <laughs> roam your surface eternally. And to start, you will turn this dry wasteland into a paradise. How do I do that? You can click on the giant or its portrait in the lower left corner with the left mouse button to view its ability bar at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, but I don't know what an ability bar does. You can use the right mouse button to click on a patch of land in order to select the giant to move move the rock giant and ocean giant towards each other. Okay, let's have them meet here. Okay. Oh, they're friends. Okay. <laughs> Something dirty is going on there. Tap spacebar to pause and unpause the game. You can still issue actions for your giants while pause, unpause the game to continue. I don't care. Let me build shit. You can use the left, mountain, <laughs> left mouse button to click on a patch of land and view its statistics in the upper right corner. Okay. Let's see this empty patch wasteland dry 
Yeah, that's why I'm clicking with the ocean, dude. Dry wasteland cannot sustain life and must be transformed in order to become. Use the ocean. Okay. How do I how do I use him? Dude, it didn't say how to use him. What do I do? Press this? Oh, okay, I guess I press that and I guess wait. Oh, oh, okay. I guess that did it. I just had to sit around and wait for a little bit. Oh no, my big guy's gonna drown! Get out of there, big guy! Go! Fucking Come on! Hurry! Oh. oh that was a close one guys. Okay now uh now what the fuck do I do? <laughs> okay. Well done, oceans are our first step in creating life. You sense something trembling beneath your surface. Oh, I sense something indeed. Oh Jesus. It's fucking like Lord of the Rings. Giant's portrait in the lower left corner. I Dude, you told me that! Forest giant flows with life, its powers will allow you to create lush forests. Okay. Uh I guess I'll use his power. And I want it I want it right next to the water. And I said let there be a life. Okay. <laughs> I was a little anticlimactic. I, this is this is weird, guys. I'm not used to games like this. Good force require water from the ocean. Sense of life flowing back into your core. The rock giant has gained a new ability. Oh, he's feeling left out, so he wants like to be interacted with. On a dry wasteland create a desert. Okay, this is dry wasteland. Let's move him over here. Hut, hut, hut. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. <laughs> They're minerals, Marie, not rocks. Okay. Uh, I guess right here. Let's just do this. Pow. He looked punch the earth. Oh, I said pow for no reason. Okay. Compensating for something, maybe. Okay. I created a desert. Well, it's gonna also cancel out. <laughs> Cover at least half of your patches in inhabitable land. Okay. So what do I got? Let me see. Am I able to zoom out? Okay. So I got... Yeah, that's at least half, right? That's at least half. Maybe I should move this guy over to here. Can he not go over there? Oh. Oh fuck, I gotta do the right click, I forgot. Sorry guys. It's a learning process. Learning process. Stop, just focus on him. <laughs> oh, Master summoned me. Must go over to the other side now. Oh. They're really like, I really like the art style of it. It's just, I've never, I never play these type of games. This is why I imagine, like, Civilization is, like, I do own Civ V. I got it, uh, from a promotion, but I've never played anything like that, and I don't know. I never played SimCity or anything where it took, where it took me controlling some, uh, people's actual lives. I don't want to play God. 
Fuck your forest. Fuck your forest. Okay. Now what? Oh, it's showing my little landscape. I'm going to create like a little narrative. The people of the forest never trespassed past the mountains for fear of dying in the massive desert. They always stayed close to their water source. <laughs> Let me just read this. Well done, you've accomplished your goal. You've learned to create ocean, forest, mountains, and deserts. You hope the life blooming from your lands will remain while you slumber. Okay. Click to continue to view all your achieved development strengths. I don't... Okay. That was just a tutorial? I felt like that was the actual game. What's the actual game like? Does it got time limits and shit to it? Jeez. Press any key. Mouse button is a key, ain't it? What happened to all my land? Welcome to the second era. Oh my God. Once again, you have awoken from the slumber. Yeah, but where's all my, all my stuff? You recall a time when you used, used your giants to create ocean and forest. Gather all your strength again, so the ocean giant and the forest giant can reawaken. What about the rock dude? I like the rock dude the best. Rock dude was fucking... Where it's at, he was like the guy you want to put on t-shirts. He's the one that looked cool. Somewhere deep down below it, uh, is it asking for a surface to live on. Okay. And ocean giant to raise a forest of at least ten patches. Oh god, okay. Can I... Let me check this land out. Oh, it's dry. Okay. I gotta, I gotta create water, dude. Let me just create it here. Oh, we, uh, uh. Fuck you, dirt. Fuck you, dirt. Time to become water. Water up in this bitch. He's so angry. Okay. Uh, let's let's do forest guy then. Okay. Gotta. Okay. Let's make the forest go all the way to the water. Boom. Guy's got a green thumb. Is that ten patches? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I did so many patches. Okay, well done. You sense a change. Somewhere in a cave, something small has a way. Something small. Come on, dude. You sense a new spark of life flowing through your core, and it seems your forest giant has gained a new ability. What's this? Fruit plant. Okay, I guess I'll uh, plant some fruit. Use the forest giant's fruit plant ability to place some plants in the forest. Alright, let's... We don't want them to be too close to the water source, because just in case there's a flood... Okay. Now let's do some here. Can I... What the fuck is that? Zoom in! Zoom in! Oh, I have created life! It's like that Simpsons episode! Can I create more fruit plants? What's going on? As soon as humans settle all their thoughts and feelings flow back into you, it would be wise to learn as much from these humans as you can. Yeah, but how do I do that? Let's see the village borders by... village borders is marked by a bunker or buoy? Booyah? What the fuck is that? Okay. Okay, so the village goes from here to here, maybe. No, because there's shit out here, too. Okay. 
I don't understand. Place plants, animals, or minerals within the village borders while generating resources. Those villages won't grow by using want to grow by using food, wealth, and technology provided by you. Alright. I'll give it a shot. You can tap control to cycle through additional info about what patches are currently provided. The blueberry is providing five food, so the maximum food the village can use is five. The village <laughs> The village's resources can be viewed by selecting the village and viewing the village the village panel in the upper right corner. Alternatively, you can also tap control to view to view the number under the village. Sorry guys, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Oh shit, they're up to five. Place some more fruit. I gotta place some more fruit. Place place this shit. I gotta place it. Place it here. Jesus. There you go, my my little worshippers. As you can also see in the village these two blueberries are now getting generating ten food. This will actually lead ten food. Jesus, so much reading. That turns me off of this game. Fucking hell. Not that it's reading, it's just I'm trying to do a let's play here, kind of. Wow, oh, Jesus. Food and borders. Okay, okay. Let's, uh... I can't do it there. Let's do some here. Guys, blueberries for everybody. Oh, Jesus. They're going through food way too quickly. Let's see if you can raise the food above 12 using the fruit plant ability. I did. I did that. No, I want the fruit plant abil ability. What's that? Oh shit. Oh shit, did I wipe them out? Okay, no I didn't. Oh. That was scary. <laughs> I was afraid they would think I was a vengeful god. Okay. I got 20 here. So, you think that's enough, or can Water Guy do anything, or am I just waiting for these guys to eat? Okay, they're done. They've started building something of their own. Oh, they have started. Okay, Water Guy now. Wait. A granary? Building granary has a lot of villagers to gain a specialization. Let's see. Upper right corner. Okay, let's click on it. Specialization. This. What do I do? Mushroom meters plus 15 food for each mineral within borders. So I need minerals. Giants lack the skill to create these minerals. Could help remedy it. Okay. What's the objective then? Yeah, I see. They want to build a granary. Okay. Luckily, it seems Ocean Giant has now grown stronger and giant and gained a new ability. Domestic animals ability? Okay. Ah, he's doing the little jig. Doing the little jig. Okay. Uh let's see, I can't I can't put them there. Can I put it there? Okay. 
in the forest. This is the forest. I know that because I created it. Don't smash! Don't smash! We're trying to create animals here, dude. Okay. All animals have area of effect. Click on the animals to view their range. Jesus! Oh, there are little chickens. How do I... How do I click on the actual, like, chicken? Dude. Okay. Following the chicken. Symbiosis is for the chickens. And allow them to generate much more food. Okay. Alright, so I gotta... Okay, so I gotta play some kind of near the blueberries as well. See if you can use symbiosis. Symbiosis. What? Oh! Okay. Let's put... Let's put some of the chickens over here. Okay, what do I do? What? Who is this guy? Positive influence. I wonder if you could play this like really evil. Like Morrowind gives you that chance. You could just be a complete bastard. This one I wonder if you could do that too. <laughs> kind of just be a dick. Let's see. Oh fuck I forgot to read it. No. No let me click it again. Oh I was too busy riffing on the Morrowind and the evil. Oh rock giant. Let's see, select the rock giant and use the right mouse button to press the text bubble above the ambassador. Rock giant, right mouse button. Yes. I can pick him up? I picked him up! Oh, okay. Well done, the ambassador spirit has unlocked new abilities in the rock giant. Granary to be a specialization. Okay. Proved form of symbiosis. Okay, let's see. This is the granary. Right? Okay, place some minerals within the village's borders to boost the boost the their resources? That's a typo. I'm not reading that wrong. Be careful not to break any symbiosis. Okay, I don't want to break symbiosis. Oh, here we go. Okay. I can do it there, of course. Let's view in on this cute guy. Is she gonna smash? Okay. There we go. Excellent! I don't... Okay, the village has grown in battle greatly since you awakened. Still life roaming your surface, hoping to find a place to settle. Okay. Raise a desert of ten patches using the rock giants. Raise mountain ability. Be sure to do this as far away from the forest and ocean giant as possible. Okay. They might get a little pissed off, I guess. Let me do it. I'll do it right here. That's that's roughly like half half the earth away. Poor rock giant, man. I'm constantly having him walk. He is he is not having a good time, dude. It's like I am the I am the most built one here. They don't even lift. Why are you having me do so much more exercise? Ugh. Anyway, back to the narrative. Once, there was an ocean giant. He created a mighty ocean. And it spawned the forest giant. The forest giant created life because the ocean wet the soil. The ocean giant did a little dance. The forest created new life in which 
the forest giant could plant blueberries, giving sustenance to the villagers. The villagers then decided to take their own initiative and create a granary. This provoked the ocean giant to bring new forms of life, chickens, fowl, and poultry to their civilization. He put them near the blueberries to create a symbiosis. How is the f Okay. <laughs> Next time on Rails, the story continues. Okay, let's uh, create a mountain here, shall we? Wow, that's a fucking pretty big desert, dude. Okay. Domestic animals ability to place animals in the largest desert. Okay, let's uh... Then we gotta put that. And... Why is there like a little exclamation point? Oh my. There is desert. Okay, let's just give it a try. Come on, you time for you to go work out, you fat bastard. Why? Why do this to me? I should note that I tried to play this game with uh, my gamepad right before I started recording and it doesn't support it, which is kind of annoying. It, w it seems like it would be easy enough to move back and forth with the thumbsticks, but it's not the case. What did it create? Okay. Oh shit! It's... it's a little dude. Oh man! I created nomads! Come on. I'm only going to play a couple more minutes because I don't want this video to run too long. Oh shit! It's like the Gerudo in uh, Zelda. Okay, is this the project patch? Desert Desert herders. Okay. So let's uh let's create more food for him. How about that? Okay. There. Okay. Also requires wealth. Precious metals ability within the desert village borders on a desert patch. Okay, rock giant. Rock giant? Okay. Uh, so I guess... Oh man, how lucky they are. It's just right outside their town. Fuck. These guys are lucky. I love quartz. This will slowly lead to ten wealth and use by making. Okay, how do I make sure they activate it? View requirements activated. Okay. Five wealth and use. I don't understand. Okay, raise the wealth in use above five to activate the course. Okay, so I need to place a second quartz. Oh, quartz is just growing right next to each other. God. Oh, watch the villager. Don't punch him. Okay. Okay, so... So what? Is that good? Okay, I did that. 
Well done. Quartz are now activated. These quartz will now also have a symbiosis which can give even more wealth. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I improve? Can I bring the tree guy over here? Paganism. Excellent work you have. Or, <laughs> the humans have strengthened your core and you have learned about village resources and specializations and symbiosis. Time for slumber has once again come up. Come upon you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, greed. Transmutations and danger? That sounds cool. I'll have to play a separate in Descents with that. That sounds pretty cool, too. I'll, uh, I'll leave the video there, though, guys. Um, if you like it, uh, and you feel like you want to play more or play this game, pick it up on Humble Bundle. Six bucks gets you, like, seven games. And they're not stupid games, either. It's Limbo, which I previously played. It's this. It's VVVVV. It's a, uh, it's, it's Cave Story. It's a bunch of stuff, dude. So, yeah. And if you like my video, uh, let me know. Tell me what you think in the comments. Leave a like button if you did like it. Yeah, always looking for feedback. And uh, check in for more Indie Sense coming in the future. Talk to you guys later. See ya, dudes.